Sandy with S and D, and I'd like to invite y'all to our booth at the next show. Come early, I'll be having coffee, lots of coffee. It takes a lot of energy to be a spokes bell. Come at lunch and we'll have a glass of sweet iced tea. It is the champagne of the South. Later, we can have four or five of these perfect iced coffees as a pick me up. God is my witness, I will never be sleepy again. <clears throat> anyway, we'll see y'all at the next show, booth 7333, okay? Hi, this is Steve Holtz for CSP TV, and I'm coming to you today from the Olympic Park here in Atlanta as we prepare for the next show, which begins next week. Now, over the next three weeks, we're going to be bringing you reports and interviews from the trade show floor and workshops and other places in and around Atlanta to keep you up to date on what's happening down here if you haven't been able to make it. We begin this week with some store tours. Wanted to give you a look at what stores look like in and around the Atlanta market. And we begin today with a company whose name is nearly synonymous with Atlanta. That's Racetrack. I caught up with their vice president of operations, Mark Reese, who gave me this exclusive look at what one of their C stores looks like in their home market. Well, Mark, appreciate you joining us. Um, tell me about this site. How old is it? Uh, size and things like that. Yeah, it's, um, it was built in December of last year, so uh, almost one year old. Um, and it's a 5,000 square foot store. It's a big site overall, inside and out, and that's sort of the direction you said you guys are going. Why is that? Yeah, with um, you know, for the longest time we've had gas as our biggest um, draw to the stores, and uh, what we noticed is if we didn't build the lots larger and, and put parking spots in, uh, we do a great gas business, but people just weren't coming inside as much. So uh, we really tried to differentiate the um, the fuel island from the inside of the store. So started putting in at least 30 parking spots per store and just building on a much larger lot just to get that, that inside draw uh, a little heavier. You've also boosted the, the food service program by moving it forward a little bit, giving a little, uh, making it a little easier to see when you walk in the door what's going on there. Yeah, right. Um, so again, as, as, as you can see in the store, we, um, uh, we had three roller grills um, and they would sit towards the back of the store. Um, by the sandwich cooler, really um, redesigned the store, moved the, the food service up front so it hit you as you walked in the door, um, put in a hot case so that we would sell hot um, sandwiches in the morning and, 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 and fresh cookies in the afternoon and evening, and then a hot lunch as well. So uh, moved all that up front, um, expanded the sandwich cooler, um, and really put a big focus on it from a marketing perspective um, and internally. We brought a chef on board a little over a year ago as well, and uh, it's really hoped the overall food service business. Driving uh, around Atlanta as I have been this week, um, yeah. I've noticed some of your radio commercials and billboards for beer, just beer, not not one brand, not import, not U.S. beers, just beer in general. Um, it really caught my attention. Tell me what what that's about. Yeah, um, you know it's something different. In uh, similar to what we've done with food services, we brought in a, a marketing department, and with that was the beer program. Um, we don't think we were getting credit for for the offer that we had. Um, if you look at us, we've got 12 doors, um, we've got um, micro brews, we've got high-end beers, and we've still got the, uh, the beer that our, our core consumer needs, you know, the mid-range beer and the low end. So we just don't feel like we were getting the, um, the credit for it. So uh, we worked with an ad campaign and we worked with some of our, our vendors to come up with uh, a way to put a focus on that. And we really had some great ads and some great commercials now to put a focus on, uh, on beer um, at the store. And I don't think anybody's done that that I've seen in our industry. So. Um, it's been fun. We've gotten great uh, feedback from it. Yeah, like I said, it really caught my attention. And uh, it, it's a new program, so it'll be great to see how, how that plays out in the long run. So. Yeah, true. So it's only been two weeks now, so uh, we're thinking it'll be great. Yeah. All right. Well, great. Thanks a bunch for your right. help. Thank you very much. <laughs> This racetrack site is in Woodstock, Georgia, and if you want to check it out, it's at 155 Hames Road. Reporting for CSP TV, I'm Steve Holtz.